what intrigued you about this project the most? And were you familiar with any other sort of like, I guess, Lord of the Flies as projects where kids are stranded on the island, no adults? And did that shape the way you went into this? Um, I wasn't personally familiar with uh, any of like other kids stranded on the island um, projects, but what really drew, caught my attention about this project was the story of sisterhood. Um, and the dynamic that you don't really see often is like fraternal twins, period, but also just mm -hmm. twins not getting along. It's usually like, oh, we're always in sync and da 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 And I love that through the story you see this journey of individuality. Um, and they're trying to find that even though they are still in sync, but their in syncness actually causes them to butt heads at times. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think that it's great. And then also to see um, me personally, I was just really excited to see these two black girls and that, you know, are, are twins, but they're so different. And I think between me and Helena, we show um, like, there's like a whole spectrum of black women and we don't all look one way. We don't all act one way. I think it's really, really beautiful to see these two twins who are literally from the same household that are completely different in who they are as a person. It was interesting when the show got cast and all that and then we heard i i heard about the netflix show that ended up being the society mm -hmm. and it's like oh this is kind of like our show but it's not because it's not on an island and yeah. teenagers and there's mm. it's very that's different. cool <laughs> um but no there wasn't anything that was like this mm -hmm. uh that i had heard of or seen um or was approached for anything like that um this was definitely very original very fresh very new uh and stood out for a plethora of reasons um but one main reason being the diversity uh and the stories um that all of these people have you know, and it doesn't matter that they're female um, because it, they could be men and they could have the same exact stories. It, but the fact that they are female changes the dynamics and you'll see that in the show, you know, um, and that's why, you know, it's not Lord of the Flies. It's not Lost where it's... Um, co-ed it's strictly female it's not men it's strictly female why because we'll see what happens when females from all different walks of life come together and are put in different situations what are their strengths what are the weaknesses that society would say are their weaknesses, right? What do they learn about themselves in these situations? What do they learn about the other person? How can they contribute to the group dynamic, to the community? Um, and uh, yeah, that to me spoke volumes. And Rain, you kind of touched on this um, a little bit earlier about the fact that, you know, I believe that oftentimes, you know, Black actors, Black actresses, actresses of color don't really get to be in a space like this, on a show like this, and playing roles like this. And I'm sure that it provides a lot of needed representation for young Black girls who will be like, you know, this is different. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not um, like roles that you would see Black people pigeonholed into. It's very different. Uh, how, as an actress, how does it feel to provide this representation of taking on a role like this? Oh, it's huge. This is my first project where I've worn my natural hair out for it. Wow. Um, and, you know, that I, I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to start the conversation of um, how our industry needs to do better about uh, knowing how to do textured hair on set, you know, and I was really happy that the show was like, yeah, let's wear your natural hair and let's do it and let's commit to it. And it's just as important, you know, um, and also between me and Helena, we have different hair textures but it doesn't change. Like we're not any less black, you know what I mean? And we're, we're two versions of a culture and it's, it's really beautiful to see. Um, and so for me, it's, it's just also our characters are just um, so complex and layered and it shows the humanity in black culture. Um, and that these girls, they're girls and they're going through things just like anybody else. 
and um, you get to see us in that light. And I, I'm forever grateful for that. And I think it's one of the most beautiful things. Having a platform like this, where we are so different, but we are coming together and telling these stories, right? And we look different, but we look the same. Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, we're two different people and we have different experiences and we are part of the same culture, but that is the beauty of it because like, there is so much to me and there's so much terrain. And like, just because you look at someone and assume one thing that doesn't make it okay. Right. And I think that's also part of the show that like judging a book by its cover, that's another theme, a thematic element, right? We're so quick to judge and not give a person a chance to speak and tell before actually making that decision finite, that judgment. Um, and yeah, part of the process was really being like, I'm a person, I'm not this. And like, it was really great because I think Nora and Rachel are more than the token black girls, mm -hmm. you know? And we are also really strong characters on the show. Everyone are really strong. But with that being said, I don't want someone to watch it and be like, oh yeah, these are the two sisters who are whatever, because we don't, it's, it's, it's whatever, you know? I think it's cool that you're seeing, you're actually seeing like these girls from black culture, but they're human beings, you know what I mean? Like it's not, you're not diving into black stereotypes. Yeah. I, you know, us, me having super, super tight curls and her having super loose curls is just a matter of who they are. It's a part of who they are as a person. And so it like there, a lot of people don't know that you can have siblings with two completely different hair textures. Yeah. Like, so, like it's so diverse. And I love that we get to showcase that and just show these two girls being, being girls, you know?